Mr. Ganesh Rajaram. On behalf of Mr. Ganesh, question nine. <coughs> Speaker said negotiations to secure live broadcasting rights for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics are still ongoing. The negotiations are best left to the broadcasters and right owners to undertake and conclude as it would be unwise to take the position that we should have live telecast, broad, live telecast regardless of the cost and for the government to underwrite any amount demanded by the right owners, particularly when the rights are still being negotiated. So over the years, broadcasting right fees have been growing rapidly. For instance, for the 2016 Rio Olympics broadcasting rights, Densu originally wanted to charge three times what it cost to broadcast the 2012 London Olympics live. This shows how lucrative the business of broadcasting rights have become. At the same time, it is becoming increasingly difficult for broadcasters to recoup the escalating cost of broadcasting rights because there are so many cheaper options to watch such sporting events live. If the right owners only seek to maximize their profits, they risk making broadcasts of major games less accessible by driving fans to other media channels or away from the sports entirely. And this is in no one's interest in the long term. Mr. Kok Lun. Thank you, Minister, for the reply. On behalf of Mr. Ganesh, uh, I have a supplementary question. In light of our, uh, you know, last, I think in the last uh, Olympic when we had schooling, you know, in that 30 seconds actually bring a lot of national pride here. So would the broadcaster consider together working with the uh, government you know, to think about uh, pooling resources to secure the rights, as you rightly said, that the cost of actually securing the rights have gone up. Uh, this has been done in Malaysia and other countries. Is there any progress in that? Thank you. Um, speakers, I understand the sentiment expressed by the member, and I think it is important for us to recognise that these are commercial arrangements. I think it's best that we leave it to the right owners and the broadcasters to make the negotiation. Uh, whatever happens, basically, the government will continue to monitor the situation. The most important thing we don't think is right for us to intervene and let basically the key players in the market decide what is the best uh, course of action for them.